What's up guys and welcome back to the Pursuit of Growth. I hope you've been well. In this video, we're gonna take a look at this lawn over my shoulder here as we move through the fall season in this cool season lawn. And I'm gonna take you through some of the weed control options that I use in my business as we tackle some of the largest offenders in this lawn. In this one, we're gonna be using a simple three-way product, see what we get from that. And then in subsequent videos, we will uh, move on to more boutique or high-end uh, herbicides to get this lawn cleaned up by the end of the season. This is the Pursuit of Growth. When we walk out into this lawn and it's about between 1,500 and 2,000 square feet, it's very easy to see the, the offenders we're gonna be working with here. We got some dandelion and I guess I should say that this is a new pickup, so to speak. This lawn does not did not have any services, no pre-emergence, no nothing. So naturally, it would be a lot cleaner and a lot of those problems right there can be solved with a good pre-emergence strategy so we don't have to come and do these weed controls at this point in the season. Now the two biggest offenders you're gonna see in this lawn is some clover and wild violet. Got some oxalis. More dandelion. Uh, I saw some some plantain in here somewhere. More dandelion, plantain over there. So there's a there's a good number of offenders. And what we're going to do today is we're going to start with a simple, cost-effective blanket app of three-way to control what we can here. And then when we come back and see what hasn't been controlled, we can go to more boutique styles or high-end uh, herbicide options. So let's, let's go over here and take a look at what we'll be using. So for today's application, I'm gonna be using this new Lesco battery hand can that I picked up. This is gonna be mostly used in my business for spot treatments, but I am gonna put a fan tip on it for this just to see how everything goes. So back to the product, we're gonna be using Triad Select today by Prime Source. This is your standard tried and true three-way herbicide. In, in most cases with the three ways, you're gonna get your 2,4-D, your MCPA, and your dicamba, primarily a 2,4-D product at 30%. It has been around for a long time. It is a tried and true herbicide, and then when you pair them with the MCPA and dicamba, you get some really good results that are really you know, cost effective. So we're gonna be using this, and then with this, we're also gonna be using a new product I just picked up. This is ChemStick LPH. Obviously, it is a non-ionic surfactant. They call it a sticker spreader. Same thing, basically. But what's intriguing to me about this product, as I use it in my business for more like tank mixing, this does buffer pH as well. So you're getting more than just, you know, 80-20 uh, non-ionic surfactant. You're getting the non-ionic sticker spreader. You're getting a pH buffer. Of course, when we're making any applications, we want to read the label, be well-versed in the instructions, the do's and don'ts, because the label is the law. And most importantly, when we want to make sure we're wearing appropriate PPE. I got my rubber boots on. I got some gloves over there. So we're going to mix this up. We're going to do a blanket app with this hand can, give, give this thing a good test. We're going to use a fan tip nozzle, and we'll see and track the results uh, in the coming days. Now for spot treatments, I like to use an adjustable cone tip style nozzle. I do like to use that for spot treatment, which is going to be the primary use of this hand can. But because I'm going to be testing it out in a blanket style application, I'm going to be switching this over to a fan tip. Now I will say one thing I am seeing as I go across this lawn and treat it is that that chem stick is really working very nicely. It's really apparent uh, spraying over the wild violet. You can just really see it doing a good job of spreading uh, across the, the tissue surface of the plant. So that's really encouraging and looks great. Another thing I'll say is so far this Lesco hand can is working pretty good. 
it's pretty nice. Not something I would want to uh, do blanket apps with all the time, but I like it. All right, that'll do it for the application. We'll continue to watch this and I'll bring you updates as we see what this three-way triad select does on this lawn. Okay, so here we are, we're back with the, the update. It's been six days since the treatment we did of the three-way herbicide and we're going to check out some of the six day results and see where we're at see what it took care of see what it didn't take care of see what it's still working on so as we come across the stand here the right in front of me right where i'm standing right now and i will roll in some footage of you know or you can go back on your own and see what this area looked like this area right here particularly right literally in this point where i'm pointing to right there that was like the biggest issue uh, i mean there's stuff throughout this whole yard but there was just a absolute carpeting of two things and that was wild violet and clover now i think you can see i'll roll in the i'll roll in the video right here a lot of that clover is missing or is in the process of dying and if we get in here and look first we can see look at this dandelion that is definitely hurting you can still see some clover, uh, but it's not as brightly colored. It's definitely on its way out. And you can even see right here, uh, here is the clover. There's clover right there, right there. There's a nice little patch of it. And then right here is some oxalis. And the action on the oxalis or yellow wood sorrel, whatever you want to call it, is uh, pretty good. See that the clover is hurting and this will continue to degrade until it, there is nothing left. Uh, more oxalis, yellow wood sorrel right here. This can be a tough one because it's it, the stem, it's got a very woody stem to it. That, that can be a tough one to control, but we are seeing some action on it. Some dandelion right here that's beat up pretty bad. Again, six days post application. Uh, and, and really what I, what I wanted to illustrate for the most part with this is the action on these simple, more simple to control broad leaves with a common affordable three-way herbicide. I'm not surprised in the least that we aren't seeing a ton of action on the uh, wild violet, but this is a good example right here. You see right here, not too much going on with these. I mean, they're, they're beat up for sure, but look at this one. So really mixed results with the wild violet because you, see, you can see right here, this one's not really affected at all. But the yellow wood sorrel for sure is uh, definitely hurting. You can see some right there. And then next to it, some more dandelion that's taking a beating. More wood sorrel that's beat up. And that'll continue to degrade as this property owner mows. I am not surprised that we're not really seeing really great results with the wild violet we are seeing some action but i don't think it's going to uh be anything that get well i know it's not going to be something that gets rid of the infestation of wild violet we see here and here's one more example i found right next to a nice coriation plug right here here's where one of the dandelion stalks or flowers actually was and this is common of 2,4-D. you can see how i can straighten this out and then it just twists back up and curls that's like one of the hallmarks of a product that includes 2,4-D or a lot of your just standard three-way products is this twisting and curling. It, it's great for customers from a, an applicator standpoint because you can see it going to work. So that's going to wrap it up for this application. I just wanted to show you the application, what we used, what we were going after, the results we had. But now we need to move on to a different product to really take out a lot of these other big offenders, namely that wild violet. Again, I'm not surprised that of what the three-way was able to accomplish versus what we're gonna use next to really get this under control, but you're gonna have to stick around for that. Uh, you can see I'm wearing this vest, cooler temperatures are here and it's the perfect time to go after your wild violets. And I've got the perfect cool weather fall product for that. That's coming up on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, please comment. Give me a like, a share if this is valuable to you. It gives me motivation to uh, keep doing what I'm doing. We'll be back for another video to see how we're gonna really, really clean this yard up in a hurry. Thanks for sticking around. This is The Pursuit of Growth.